feel it in my bones Woman always come and go Like this bubble in my home Then I wake up, it's a dream I've been sitting all alone Yo, what's good guys? So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to turn your vocals to sound like D-Block Europe. So we're going to turn the vocals to sound like this in Apple Studio. I've been smoking way too long, past the future way too dumb. I've been learning on my lungs, but I feel it in my bones. Woman always come and go, like this bravo in my home. Then I wake up, it's a dream, I've been sitting all alone. Don't need no fake love, you can fake some, but I ain't dumb. Now, if you guys enjoy this track, you can listen to it on Spotify, iTunes and music. I've got a new artist name, which is PavX. And I made a new YouTube channel, which you guys can go and follow. That's why I'm going to upload all my music that I create. Good thing is, I'm going to teach you exactly how I created this vocal effect here in FL Studio. So, pretty cool, right? I mean, I'm releasing this music with this vocal effect that I've used right here. And I'm letting you guys have it for free as well. And I'm going to teach you exactly what I did to create these vocals. So, on this tutorial here, I'm going to teach you exactly how I created this main, main verse. Just that, just that one verse, you know, I'm not going to teach you how to create a chorus. I'm going to teach you how to create the main verse type of effect. Now, I just want to say thanks to everyone that's joined the competition of Untire's Auto Tune. If you haven't already, there's a link in my description where you guys can join the Antares uh, Auto Tune competition, which, which expires next week, guys. So you got till 3rd of December to apply. Link in my description. Three years, unlimited subscription to auto tune antares free winners will be announced next week around thursday and friday so do stay tuned guys i'm also going to give you guys a video call right so the winners like we want to do something something cool so maybe like a video call or something apart from me talking and all this there's links in more description on producer buzz this week we have something really cool we've outlined eight best um guitar vst plugins for max well for Mac and Windows and they're free downloads so actually I tested about 25 different VST plugins and only decided to showcase eight of them and these are the eight top ones so I've been working really hard this week you know like proper getting up early trying to you know put some craft in it and these are the top eight VST plugins that you guys can get so there's a link in my description as well so apart from that hope everyone's been cool everyone's been safe I've been super busy, but I've got a lot more videos coming. I'm also going to be recording another video after this for you guys, which I'm going to release on Saturday. So do stay tuned. I've got another video on Saturday coming out. Bro, how can you guys watch my videos? Like I go on and on and on. <laughs> but yeah, you guys get the point. Uh, let's go straight into this. Uh, just hit the like. So I'm just gonna show you guys, we are live and these are the free effects we're using. So we turned our voice from sounding like this to sounding like this. Now check this out, this is so cool. If I got a young ads here and you guys know this song that he sang, yeah, well check this out. King up in the kitchen, I don't need no apron. Every other week I was catching cases. Hey, guys, how close is that though? Come on. Like, I'm not D-Block Europe, but you guys get me. Just with these simple effects right here. I mean, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. D-Block Europe up in that house here. Guys, uh, the full track in more description. Make sure you check it out. And yeah, make sure you hit the like on that as well. Uh, yeah, super excited about my new track. I'm going to release more tracks, obviously. So, what did I do to get this kind of sound? Well, first of all, obviously, guys... Biff Sound Godizer here being enabled, we turn the sound from sounding like this to sounding like this. Oi, oi. And as you guys can see, what we're using on here is the mode A on here, the mode A. Very simple. I'm just going to move these up so you guys can see them. Um, so this is the main vocals to record that we used on here. And on here we've got Sound Godizer. And notice how we're stacking auto-tune first, 
then sound good diser, and then some reverb. Okay, it's very important how you stack these. Now, I haven't really mentioned to you guys in previous tutorials that stacking is very important. We're going to talk more about stacking and why it's important to stack certain things first and then effects follow after. And we're going to talk more about it later on videos, so make sure you subscribe. Okay, but for this, let me show you. So, once we enable Sound Goodizer, Obviously, there's four different modes, as you guys can see. I can just switch it to different kind of sound. Now, C would make us sound more like D block, D block as well, as you guys can see. King up in the kitchen, I don't need no apron. Every other week, I was catching cases. Put that bleed on white, I ain't, ain't no races. Yeah, you guys get the point. Um, so C, if you got like a kind of voice you can make yourself sound, I like that A because it's got more sharper kind of tone, so you can choose between A and C depending on your voice. If, if your voice is very deep, go for C, you guys will still get that really nice effect. And then guys, obviously um, what I did is I added Auto Tune Antares. Now you guys, if you haven't got Auto Tune Antares, link in more description. Um, to actually get, there's going to be three winners, uh, three years, two years, and one year full free Auto Tune Unlimited subscription. All you got to do is put your name and email and subscribe to my newsletter and then Tara's newsletter. It will enter you for the comp competition. I can't even talk. Um, but yeah, so what do we do on here? Well, once you enable it, you can see this is what it sounds like. Oh, ah. Now, what we do on the side here, the retune speed, guys, is free. Perfect for D block Europe type of sound and the humanize is on 50. Now, on here, it's very important that you select alter and tenor. Uh, D block Europe pretty much use alter and tenor throughout all of their tracks, okay? Um, obviously, the key we went for in here is G sharp uh, minor scale. Uh, this is because our beat that we're using here in the background is G sharp minor. If our track was major, we send it to uh, I don't know G sharp or G major. You guys can see that you know I can change it to from minor to major and change the scale uh, like But yeah, you guys kind of get the point. On here, it's G sharp minor for this track. Just like this. Na, 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 na. <laughs> so you guys get the point. And everything else stays the same. Now you can play around with the flex tune if you want to flex it a little bit. But you can just keep it at default. Zero natural vibrato. Set it to zero, zero. And you get this nice kind of effect. Then guys, the last thing we've got on here. Reverb. Ah, ah, ah. Pull up in the kitchen. I don't need no apron. Hey, so you guys got the point. Uh, so here we go, fruity reverb two. Uh, what we do on here, guys, is we've got the wetness and everything set as default, as you guys can see. Nothing has changed. Only thing we do on here on the side is we just turn the volume down to forty percent, just like that. Now, if you look at here at the hint panel, when I move this up and down, that changes. So here we go, 40%, right there, perfect. Done, that's it. And here we go, that's D Block Europe, guys. Very simple. <laughs> and obviously what we do then is we go to the beat on here and we start recording. So this is what we did on here. Always important here, down here, make sure you arm the disc on recording. So your recording is coming from channel 11 into FL Studio. You can see this output in here. Once I turn it on, that's feeding now, so I can start recording. King up in the kitchen, I don't need no apron. Every other week, I was catching cases. D block, you're a preset. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. This is messing about, but you guys get the point. Check this out. King up in the kitchen, I don't need no apron. Every other week I was catching cases Now it's a little bit off because of my recording and the time So I do apologise There's a bit of delay because of the recording and stuff But you guys get the point uh, King up in the kitchen, I don't need no apron Every other week I was catching cases 
B block, you're a preset, yeah, yeah. Now, what we're gonna do now, guys, I'm just gonna turn my volume because it sounds like <laughs> I'm constantly on auto tune. Okay, so once you guys get your recording in FL Studio, right, what you wanna do then is double click on your recording and just drag up. And I'm gonna go and drag up to number 12. So you just guys gonna drag up to number 12, right? Whatever channel you want, but whatever whatever channel you're gonna stick it on, mine is the main vocals. You're just gonna open up Fruity Multic Band Compressor. Now check this out. Apron, king up in the kitchen. I don't need no apron. Now we've added and move it on. Check this out. King up in the kitchen. I don't need no apron. Off and move it on. King up in the kitchen, I don't need no apron Every other week I was catching cases D-block, you're a preset Yeah, 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 uh. Now, you guys see, that is mad, right? I mean, we stacked four effects to reach D-block Europe I mean, how simple is that? Bro, oh my days, like, this is so simple Now, the effects on here on a fruity multiband compressor guys, it's so simple, make sure you hit the like if you're enjoying this by the way, because I am enjoying making these tutorials. <laughs> Alright, so, there's different different kind of low band, mid band and high band, what we did is we kind of took away, we took away the lows and we just added a bit more mids, that's what we did, so... What you're gonna do guys is, I'm gonna give you the figures, so you guys can see them up here, when I hover over it you can... Uh, maximize the video so the threshold minus 18 db ratio 201 the knee band 65 percent attack 10.1 milliseconds release 109 milliseconds the gain 0, 0.0 decibels mid band guys minus 13.2 decibels ratio 201 the knee 100 percent attack 16.1 milliseconds release 69 3.1 milliseconds bro where are these figures coming from <laughs> um uh output is 7.5 decibels threshold on a high now guys minus 18.0 decibels ratio 201 knee 80 percent attack 10.1 milliseconds release 109 milliseconds and gain 5.7 decibels so those are the effects right there guys and this you know was it what this is gonna do is obviously just give us that post production and that's it that's what we did here guys and that's how we achieved this main kind of vocal effect here in FL studio very very simple and you know so easy as well now I will be handing out the chorus as well a bit later what I done over here oh. Feeling nauseous, drinking up in motions Like thunderstorm and she's mixing all my portions mm. Feeling nauseous, drinking up in motion It's so simple, yet again we use the same kind of effects on here um, We just used uh, Avox Warm So you guys will get this in the Antares Just adds this warmness to our vocals uh, We used a soft clipper, uh, finisher retro we used a uh, cranial cavity kind of effect and this is uh, let me just isolate this effect for you guys this is the back end kind of vocals for this and this is like so I'm just gonna isolate this this is just this vocal here so the top one number three Now obviously this is what it will sound like normally. Oh, feeling nauseous, drinking up in motions, like thunderstorm and she's mixing all my portions. Mm, feeling no now notice how I'm oh. using the same vocal effect again for that, the main vocals. All I did is I just duplicated that and added like this backing kind of effect on the on the main chorus. So again, same kind of multi-band effects. Guys, same as what we did before, it's just we added a lot of reverb on there. We took the wetness down, Avox Swarm, Fruity Clipper, and Retro, that effect. And once we put them together, we got this kind of effect. Oh, feeling nauseous, drinking up in motions, like thunderstorm, and she's mixing all my 
my portions And then we added his backing vocals at the bottom She's drinking up in motions Like thunderstorm And she's mixing all my portions mm. Feeling nauseous hey. Drinking up in motions what? Like thunderstorm And she's mixing Guys, if you like my track, you can go listen to the full track in more description. Make sure you download it on Spotify. Join me on Spotify, Path X. You know how it goes. iTunes, Spotify, on Google, everywhere you can get this track. Support this. You know, play the crap out of it. <laughs> Apart from that, uh, let's just go straight back out, guys. Alright, guys, I just want to thank you for watching. Hopefully, I've taught you how to produce that type of D Block Europe type of vocal effect here in FL Studio. You know, it's very simple, as you guys can see, you know, just some effects on the main channel and then um, post-production effects. So two type of effects that we're really working with, but so simple yet so punchy. And you guys can listen to the full track, more links below. Uh, Pavex, make sure you subscribe to my other channel where I will just upload all my music so you guys can listen to it if you guys like it. Make sure you follow me on Spotify. And if you want, go and join the Antares Auto Man, there's so many things going on. How can I even make these videos? I don't even know. But as you guys know, we're keeping you guys entertained. I was going to say exercise, but then I was like, wait, there's not, we're not doing any type of exorcism right here. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> okay, anyway, enough jokes. Guys, hit the like. Enough jokes. See you guys again on Saturday. Make sure you hit the like. Make sure you sub. I'm out.